Hello everyone, Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews. Today we have the Palet Jetstream GTX 980. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about it first. So basically it comes with GameStream, Gameworks, G-Sync, DirectX 12 support, obviously if you have Windows 10, not full support as well. We know, we all know that how that story went. Um, so basically it just has everything. It's a, a fully featured chip on there, which is really nice. Um, they promise advanced performance. They say that with every single card. Um, stunning graphics, obviously, it's an, a GTX 980. So we're going to figure out today how good it actually is instead of reading off of a box, which you can do on their website, on their product page as well. Now, I want to start off with an overview of the card. In my opinion, this is probably one of the best looking cards I've ever seen, mostly because I like really big stuff. Um, this one is huge, it's 28 centimeters long. It's also a lot taller than a standard graphics card. So you might want to make sure it fits in your case. But if your case has anything like an 80 millimeter fan in the rear, it should fit in there uh, perfectly fine. Something you do have to be wary about because it's not only slightly longer, slightly wider, it's also a very thick card. So instead of the usual dual slot, this is two and a half slots, borderline triple slot card. What that means though, is that Palet can do a gorgeous design with two giant fans on there. Um, really nice stuff. However, it also makes it quite hard to plug in the PCI connectors or actually plugging them in is not the hard bit. It's actually getting them out again, which is hard, but I don't see why you'd ever take this card out again because it's great. Um, so we're going to do a physical overview. As you can see on the top, you get this nice aluminum anodized red shroud around it. There are LEDs inside these two giant fans. There are five heat pipes in there, all that sort of stuff. We get a lovely black backplate and the um, cooler retention bracket is in lovely chrome. I just, I really like the way this looks. I know some people don't really like the way this looks. I really do enjoy it. So you get an eight pin and a six pin power connector. And on the other, you also get SLI fingers for up to quad SLI, obviously. Now, in terms of connectors, you get three uh, mini display ports, a mini HDMI port with an adapter, a dual link DVI, and that's about it. There is no full size DVI here. There is no full size anything with this card. And so they opted to have one completely open slot to get more air, more hot air out of this card. Now on the topic of getting hot air out of the case, um, this is probably one of the quietest cards I've tested. It's also one of the best coolers I've tested. There is an insane amount of headroom for overclocking, but it, that also makes it really quiet when it's not being overclocked, when it's not being pushed to the limit. It also has one of those zero dB fan modes, so I'm not sure if that's the official name with Palet or Palet or however you pronounce it, um, but you can, when, unless it goes over 67 degrees, it, the fans don't spin up at all which is lovely. So don't go thinking that yours is broken. No, it's probably not even hot enough to spin up. And when you have V-Sync on, most of the time the fans don't spin up if you have good case airflow. Now, of course, with a graphics card, we also have to talk about performance. And I have to say it's pretty good because it's a GTX 980. It's going to be better than a 970 and slower than a 980 Ti. That's basically exactly what it is. So have a look at all these graphs that are passing over the screen right now. You can pause the video if you want to have a closer look at them, but it performs exactly as you expected. And uh, it does all of that while being really quiet and really good looking. I cannot stress how quiet and good looking this card is enough. So it's really one of, if you go for the typical black and red build, this card will fit in perfectly fine. All right, guys, so conclusion time on the Palet Jetstream GTX 980, it's Jetstream card. And the Jetstream thing is something I want to talk about. It's the name of their cooler, but to me, I kind of link the word jet to really loud stuff. Um, so I don't think they took the name, you know, they chose a very smart name because it should be like the Quiet Master 5000 or something like that, because it is one of the quietest cards I've ever tested. And it just has so much left because it has such a good cooler. Obviously, the downside of that is that the cooler does take two and a half slots instead of the normal two. It's slightly um, higher the card. It's also slightly long at 28 centimeters. But all of that should not be an issue for most people. The size of the card, I don't think with most cases will be an issue. What might actually be the issue for some people is the fact that it has this really aggressive color scheme with the black and the red. So it's not going to fit really well with a blue motherboard or with a green motherboard or with any other type of motherboard that is not black or black and red. So there you have it guys. Let me know what you think about this card. 
in the comments area below. If you like this video and you want to see more of my videos, you can wait till the end, click my end card also in the, you know, the related list on the right. There should be about four of my videos right there. If you liked it, press that subscribe button. It's free. You get an update on your YouTube page whenever I make a new video and put it on YouTube, which should be every Friday or even on Tuesdays at seven. Guys, like it if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, support me on Patreon, and most importantly, thank you very much for watching this video.